My name is Sean Tucker, and I'm a faculty member in the Faculty of Business Administration at the University of Regina. I'm going to spend about 15 minutes talking to you about research on occupational health and safety culture, results from a study that was conducted here in Saskatchewan about the link between CEO leadership and uh, employee perceptions of top management commitment to safety, and then I'll end with a dis uh, a description of a research study that colleagues and I are conducting in Saskatchewan in 2013 and early 2014. My contact information and the contact information for the research project manager is available at the end of this presentation. This, this research was funded by the Saskatchewan WCB and assisted by several research assistants. We talk about safety performance in organizations. We often talk about safety culture, safety climate. And that is the extent to which employees believe that managers, supervisors reward and encourage safety behavior in an organization. It speaks to the relative importance of safety in an organization. We know from several studies that high quality safety culture in the work unit level in organization where a supervisor is committed to safety, we know that that's associated with a decrease in employee injuries. We also know from a few studies that when senior management is committed to safety, that employees, frontline employees experience fewer injuries over time. Visually, the model would look something like this. Frontline injuries experienced by employees negatively associated with employee safety behaviors such as compliance with safety policies and proactive safety behaviors such as bringing uh, hazards to the attention of supervisors. Supervisor commitment to safety is positively related to employee safety behaviors. And finally, top management commitment to safety, the senior management level in organization when the, these individuals are committed to safety, supervisors are also commit, are more likely to be committed to safety. So in sum, this is what we know from research and the trickle-down effect of top management commitment to safety through supervisor commitment to safety, employee safety behaviors to frontline injuries. Top management commitment to safety is often measured by statements such as these in surveys, for example, top management in this organization requires each manager to help improve safety in his or her department. Employees would rate the top management in their organization on these statements on a scale of strongly agree to strongly disagree. The question that remains is who or what impacts top management commitment to safety? Research has yet to address this question. We had an opportunity through the Saskatchewan Health and Safety Leadership Charter to study this question in 2012. That year, we had 71 of 309 charter organizations participated in the study. They participated in the study for the benefit of research and knowledge about safety and also for a safety benchmarking report, which I'll explain at the end of this presentation. The sectors represented included government, commodity, wholesale, retail, service sector, manufacturing, processing, and, and other sectors as well. A total of 56 organizational leaders, that is CEOs, presidents, or owners, participated in the research by completing a one-minute online survey. 262 of their senior managers completed surveys. They completed a three-minute online survey, and finally, um, nearly 4,800 frontline employees and frontline supervisors from 60 organizations completed surveys. The results that I'll share with you on the next slides are based on the responses from these individuals, the organizational leaders, senior managers, and the frontline employees. So again, our question is, what predicts top management commitment to safety? So we asked our 4,800 employees to rate top management's commitment to safety in their organization. We also measured, 
We also ask CEOs to uh, rate the extent to which they include safety in the performance reviews of their senior managers. And we found a positive relationship between that score and employee-related top management commitment to safety. We also asked senior managers to rate the extent to which safety is included in their performance job performance review process. Those scores were also positively associated with employees ratings of top management commitment to safety. So in terms of actions that could be taken based on this research, the first action would be that organizational leaders should include the safety behavior as a part of senior management job performance evaluation. And we note, however, that evaluating senior managers strictly on WCB reported injuries is not necessarily likely to, to, to be a good measure of safety performance because it can lead to injury under reporting by frontline employees. We also looked at the effect of CEO's commitment to safety as rated by senior managers. And we correlated that with employee rated top management commitment to safety. We found a strong positive relationship when CEOs were more committed to safety in the eyes of senior managers, employees rated top managers as more committed to safety. So our second action that can be taken is senior managers should show through their words and actions that they're committed to safety by engaging in a range of behaviors. And here are some examples. Considering some senior manager safety behavior when per conducting promotions, requiring senior managers to improve safety in their departments, and giving safety personnel the power they need to do their jobs. Finally, we examine the effect of a popular leadership approach in the ethical leadership as rated by senior managers and how that was associated with top management commitment to safety. You see three, a model here with three boxes. On your left, CEO ethical leadership, as rated by senior managers, was positively associated with CEO commitment to safety, as rated by the same senior managers, which in turn was positively related to top management commitment to safety, as reported by employees. So the, to the question, do CEOs matter? Yes, they do. They have a trickle-down effect. Their leadership has a trickle-down effect and indirectly affects top management commitment to safety through a CEO's commitment to safety. This brings us to our third and final action that we recommend to organizations. We recommend that organizational leaders should demonstrate ethical decision-making by engaging in behaviors such as discussing ethics, doing things the right way instead of the expedient way. We acknowledge too, and this is important to emphasize, that other forms of leadership may also have a positive relationship to CEO commitment to safety and ultimately the organization safety culture. Ethical leadership is embedded in other popular forms of leadership, such as transformational leadership. So in sum, we recommend these three steps to making a positive impact on safety in your organization. First, evaluating senior manager safety behavior as part of the executive performance evaluation process. Demonstrating commitment to continuously improving safety is important. And finally, demonstrating ethical behavior. The last part of this presentation uh, describes the 2012 study and the 2013 study that will be continuing this year. In exchange for organizations' participation in the research, we offer all participating organizations a free safety culture report or safety climate report, which offered organizations benchmarking scores for which they could compare their performance with organizations in their sector and organizations in other sectors. 
we also offered organizations feedback on frontline employees turnover attention so how likely were they to leave the organization as well as employee engagement I'll briefly explain the table in front of you organizations that participate in the research this year will receive an interim report two to three months after participation which provides their score on safety climate the number of responses, the number of employees that participated, and as an optional, turnover, employee turnover intentions and employee engagement. At the end of the study, in February 2014, organizations will receive a second report. This report will benchmark performance, their performance against organizations in other sectors and their own sector. So in the report in front of you, you see the building and construction that there were two organizations that participated and the average safety climate score was 4.04 .04 on a scale between 1 and 5 where 5 represents a higher uh, safety uh, cu culture in an organization. Turnover intentions was 2.36. Lower turnover intentions are, are, are better. Employee engagement again ranges between one and five and this organ across organizations participating in building instructions the average score was 4.35. We also offer reports for locations within organizations. So if your organization has 100 employees and five locations we will provide a breakdown of safety climate scores and any other the turnover intentions or engagement scores you require broken down by location as well as the number of responses. We do however require at least 10 responses at each location to provide this detailed breakdown. Finally, we'll provide a breakdown of for your whole organization and by location for each statement within the measure that measures safety climate in your organization. There's 16 items in the survey that measure that particular uh, variable. This report can be helpful for determining which behaviors uh, to develop in your organizations and which ones you're, you're already scoring high on. Finally, we intend to continue uh, with the project in 2014-2015 so if your organization participates this year, we'll, you'll receive a report, you can participate again next year, and you'll receive a report with the same measures, and you can track your performance over time. The safety climate reports are available for 150 organizations free of charge. Any additional organizations can participate for a nominal fee of $650. Currently, we have approximately 60 spots still left free of charge. For more information about the safety climate reports or for both the research that I've, research findings that I've shared with you, please contact Courtney Kozakavich at, at this email address or this phone number. We'd be happy to speak to you about having your organization participate in this research.